Steve Bannon is doing damage control and he found a person from a Hollywood reporter to quote unquote, quote unquote, do an interview with him. But in my mind, an, an interview is an interchange between two people where one person asks questions of the other and gets answers and then does follow up questions. None of that occurred here. And that is proven true by this reporter's own words. He said he was just there to listen. He didn't ask this guy any questions. Check out uh, this uh, segment on Steve Bannon uh, breaking his silence. For the first time since President-elect Donald Trump won the election last week, Steve Bannon, his campaign chairman and now the new chief White House advisor, is breaking his silence. Bannon, the former head of Breitbart News, which he once called the platform for the alt-right, spoke with The Hollywood Reporter's Michael Wolff this week. And quoting from Wolff's article, Darkness is good, says Bannon. Dick Cheney, Darth Vader, Satan, that's power. It only helps us when they get it wrong, when they're blind to who we are and what we're doing. And by they there, Bannon is talking about the media and the left. And Michael Wolf, columnist for The Hollywood Reporter, joins me now. Michael, thanks for taking a few minutes. So, Thank you for having me. you got quite an interview here. This guy's name is all over the news. Uh, he's been called a white supremacist, a racist, an anti-Semite. You got to sit down and talk with him after he's heard all of these accusations for the last week. What does he say to those those major allegations against him, accusations against him? He dismisses them. I, I don't think he sees those as germane to uh, who he is or what he stands for. Um, I think he sees that as part of uh, liberal media's um, failure to understand who he is and what he's about. And so what does he say he is? If, if he's, uh, he says he's a nationalist, not a white nationalist. What's the distinction he's drawing there? He, he's, he's a, 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 and, and I don't want to be in the position to, I am not, I am not um, defending his, his, his views. I am, I am, so you're explaining what he told you. I, yeah. I was just there to listen yep. to what he had to say. Um, and what he has to say is that he is. Yeah, notice he just said he was just there to hear what he had to say. And also notice this guy, he measures his words very, very carefully. And he's consistently trying to come up with stuff. The reason I say that is uh, he's always looking up at like the ceiling or whatever, trying to pull his thoughts together. So about uh, jobs for Americans, uh, that is exclusively his focus. Jobs for Americans, that makes him a nationalist um, in his view. And it makes him a very, astute political figure in his view that giving jobs to voters is the way you get elected. Now we know that's not his only focus, just given all the articles that he saw fit to release on Breitbart. So that one, that statement is just not correct. You, I, I'm curious about this. One of the ways this issue was raised within the idea he might be a white supremacist, a white nationalist, whatever term uh, you want to use, is one of the reasons for that is not so much what he said himself, but what he's allowed the Breitbart site to become through some of the articles, through the comments, through sort of the culture that it's fed, that it's sort of fed uh, on the right. Is that something that he acknowledges at all, that he grapples with at all? I, I, I certainly don't think he grapples with it in the least. Um, and he acknowledges it only and to the extent that um, that he believes he's created a um, a voice and a media product that speaks to a, a, a good part of this country um, enough of the country that that um, uh, that he goes to the White House and the liberals don't go to the White House. So I think that he very clearly sees this as as a as a as a as a profound split. Um, you people the media, the liberals have no idea who I am and who uh, the, Trump, the Trump campaign is and who it represents. And to continue to use these, these kinds of descriptions 
is um, is not going to help you understand, um, and it's going it's it's divisive and um, um, and paralyzes the discussion. What is your sense, just sort of getting a, a view on the inside there a little bit? Obviously, Donald Trump appointing him to this top White House position, being willing to absorb all of the sort of blowback that comes with that from the media. What's your sense of, the, of how that relationship works, the Bannon-Trump relationship? I think um, Steve Bannon is Donald Trump's brain. I mean, I think it's a very, very important, fundamental, close um, relationship, and I think it's a relationship that will um, that will be at the center of uh, of the next stage of the Trump revolution, if you will. And, and what what is it that? Trump sees in him. It's such a unique person to bring into a campaign. Nobody with a background like that I can think of has ever come into a campaign. What drew Trump to him in the first place? Um, you know, I don't really know the answer to this. I don't know how far their relationship goes 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 back. That might have been a good question to ask if you were doing an interview. Um, I think he was drawn into the campaign because the campaign was floundering at a certain point during the summer. He came in, he gave it focus, and he gave it um, this fundamental idea. I think from, from August on, the, uh, the thing that Trump really spoke about, as, as the media and the liberals were talking about, um, um, about, about Pussygate and whatever, and all of the other things that we were talking about uh, with great relish, Donald Trump was going out um, um, in, um, with Steve Bannon at his side talking about um, jobs. It's the economy, stupid. Um, we once heard that and understood it and knew it, um, but I think we, and I mean um, um, the liberals and the media, forgot that. Okay, Michael Wolf, Hollywood Reporter. With yep, so there you have it. Damage control by Steve Bannon. No real legitimate questions asked or answered, uh, just his side of what he wants out there, and that's it.